Hello guys, I want to show the second espresso machine I have made. It is a, a custom homemade machine with a Rancilio Silvia boiler and uh, my own steam boiler. It is uh, made with uh, teak wood on the sides. My goal was to build a double boiler machine that had the same size as a Sylvia. The steam boiler is 1.2 liters and is performing pretty well. It's all made with an uh, Arduino controller and three push buttons. It's got a, a clock built in so that uh, I can make it a delay start. It has temperatures in the brew boiler. It has a timer built in in the display and this is a timer. I actually need to change this zero to a second sign. It was some debugging. I was working on it. This is the brew timer. starts when uh, the shot is longer than 5 seconds. This one is the estimated uh, volume in the cup. I got the hot water button. It is mixed steam boiler water and uh, brew boiler water, so it should be like close to 100 degrees. I got a brew button. It is not illuminated, it's because the temperature is too low. When the temperature is uh, within plus minus one and a half degrees, it will light up. When brewing, it blinks and stops the function of the hot water. The third button is for the steam. Then I have two manometers, one for the brew pressure and uh, one for the steam boiler. The steam boiler is running 1.2 bars in pressure I believe. I will change that later so that uh, I'll get a little bit more of steam power. I've got an <coughs> a cup holder so that if using smaller cups they can be standing on that one and tall cups for a big latte are able to fit with this up drip tray pretty large one and a half liter. On the back, got a power button, and I got the water tank. This is basically my machine. It has uh, it has built in a flow controller so that I'm able to uh, control the flow when brewing. If 
I hold this button I get into a menu. It's in Danish, so it could be hard to understand. This is the temperature set point of the brew boiler, 99 degrees. Now it's 98. Pre-infusion, on or off. Off, on. Volumetric dosing. I can switch that on and off. That's a back flush uh, program I can uh, activate from here. And then I got the service menu. In the service menu I got some PID uh, adjustments for the for the boot boiler. I have a steam boiler menu. It's able to switch on and off the steam boiler. Switched off, switched on. I'm able to uh, refill the boiler. It has auto fill in the steam boiler, but I can fill it here if I want to. That's a pretty nice feature if you want to descale. Then I can uh, activate the, the pump so I, that I fill the steam boiler with descaling. This is the temperature. I'm running the steam boiler right now on temperature, not on pressure switch. So I have a set point of 124 degrees and the actual temperature is 125. Brew parameters. It's uh, pre-infusion. How many uh, pulses that I want from the uh, flow meter before I go into the actual brew. The power of the pre-infusion, this is how uh, much from 0 to 255, this is a number indicating 255 is 100% pump cycle and uh, 136 is about 50%. Flow control, if I want to control the flow or not. And how many milliliters per second I want the brew flow to be. Volumetric stop, how much I want in the cup. It is not quite uh, accurate, it is not calibrated, so I would think those 22 milliliters would give me like 30 milliliter in the cup. Hot water, how much hot water I want to uh, get before it all stops pouring hot water. And the clock adjustment, I could do that because uh, the time is wrong should say something like weekday date of month month and year and that's it let's make a shot
There you go, nice flow. And the controller is adjusting, turning down the pump power. And shot finished. Now the steam pilot is not up to temperature, there it goes. 